Hey. What are we watching today? The, the Wire. Wire. Season 2, Episode 3, Hot Shots. Hot Shots. Yeah, yeah. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us. We love you all. We're using our phones to communicate via Discord. <laughs> And this isn't a market substitute. You know the spiel. You can get ahead on Patreon, mm -hmm. like this video, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Please do all those things that help us out tremendously. And uh, what do you guys think is going to happen in this episode? Uh, is it? Is wait, shit. Is it going to be a funny episode because it's called Hot Shots, and I think there's a funny movie called Hot Shots. No, this Maybe. is way before that. I think it's going to be about the top, the top guys or the. The hot, well, no, because hot shots are normally like the douchebag who thinks he's hot shit, but he's not. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, real hot shot, aren't right, you? Right, yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's going to be about fake hot shots or real hot shots. It's going to be about Ziggy. He's one hot shot. Oh on my the god. Side. Ziggy's then, such uh, an idiot. Maybe, maybe McNulty? I don't know. McNulty's definitely a hot shot. Huh. Uh, I, don't, I don't know who else. Hey guys, I don't think we talked about Ziggy in the last episode. And how much of an idiot he is. We didn't. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he's that one friend that I'm like, hey man, like seriously, I, don't like you. I feel like <laughs> he's like one of those know. people who can't do anything right, and you just like can't. You give them like responsibilities that are not real, just so that he has something to do and doesn't fuck up anything else, and then he fucks up even that, and you don't even I feel, know how. <laughs> I I feel personally attacked. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, Why are you? <laughs> Damn, Arcana! I'm just It's because, uh, meet yourself, Katie. It's because I've seen the series, but also I, I, I've heard about Hot Shots. I, uh, I know what this episode's about. I'm not gonna tell anybody. Oh. Hmm. Chris thinks hmm. you think you're so cool. You think yeah, you're no, so right? cool because you've seen it. Chris, you're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be your friend? Well, well Chris, is this a market sub? Well, no, actually, never mind. We already talked about that. World Cup. Right. Let's just pull out the World Cup. World Cup. Omar. Oh, oh, so we afternoon and one at night. Yeah, we're gonna do it tonight. You heard? Just like you say. Put the down, down, down. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I love how she's riding that's that car right. like that, bro. That is that is dope. Hey, that's how you ride. That is you dope sure as fuck. That is so it. dope. That is the coolest shit I've seen, bro. That was so dope how she rolled like that. Bum, oh, gun sticking out, <laughs> half in the car, half. Oh man, that's cool shit. I wish we could do that in GTA. It's so funny <laughs> that uh, Omar <laughs> talking about yeah, we'll like robbing the same people. <laughs> the other people just beat him to the punch. <laughs> how shitty are you at your job of uh, drug movement that you were about to get robbed by two people on the same day? <laughs> <laughs> it's the laundry basket tactic, man. It works every time. Throws them off. What they need is a union. Need is a union. Mm. Well, you're right, Pat. Look at you. <laughs> Arabic. Hindi. Yeah. Very true. Both heard our language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's trying to make a little money. For some reason, I, I keep thinking of your dad, man. <laughs> Damn, fucked up. Huh? Two Arab guys. This is going to take. Yabba dabba dabba do. Look, come on. Ha, mushy, gushy, 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 mushy, 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 mushy. That's just rude. Lester, you're supposed to be my favorite. Negro, you cannot travel halfway around the world and not speak any motherfucking English. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the things that the king that is. I mean, English, motherfucker. <laughs> Do you, you speak, speak it? it? <laughs> That's so mean. You're right, though. They have to know a few terms. I agree with that, because you cannot be going half. Like, that, that, that is some truth to that. I mean, they all have to work together. They have to have a common language to work together. You would think that police work in, like, yeah, the immigration and stuff, would speak English in other countries, but you are wrong to make that assumption. I'm gonna go get to someplace better and with you. I'm gonna keep on like this, and I gotta rethink stuff. Do what you feel. Oof. I'm telling you, as soon as I start getting more hours, the first thing I do is get my own place. You wanna move in with me? Great. You don't want to? At least I did my goddamn best. You're a bitch. Hot shot. <laughs> you don't want a hot shot? Cut your own hair. <laughs> you want a streak or something? Put a little purple on it. Uh oh. Yeah, right after that, I'll just go ahead and stick my tongue up some guy's ass. <laughs> That's all it takes for you to be gay? <laughs> oh, wow. He's she like, I'm a hair, hair streak it's away all... from licking an yeah. asshole. <laughs> just a solid <laughs> hair streak. That's <laughs> all it'll take. Like, I got no choice now. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, spread the word, dog. Oh, my back. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Oh, man. Damn. 
what an entrance. <laughs> He's an enigma. He has to create the persona. <laughs> Spread the word, dog. <laughs> Oh my god, I love Damn, it! The Doc so Brotherhood! Yeah. The Doc, it's the Doc Brotherhood. Phenomenal. Uh, oh yeah, I love it. I love, I love how that band in. is like now a trophy. Do we have a plan? Plan? For targeting this guy, Sabaka. Maybe uh, find out where his union hangs. I want some DNRs on his phones. DNRs? See who he's calling and look for any kind of pattern. <laughs> That's all he knows. I would like to work in this office. It seems very... My speed. It's just dirty though, like there's no... It's, it looks like it smells like mold. Strange. Why you so down on the phone companies, man? A while back, I took a stroll through the, the pit. I saw that kid, we got running things down there while I pooped. Now he got the cell phone I gave him for the business right there on his hip, but the nigga got another cell phone that only ring when the pussy called. Now, if this no count nigga got two cell phones, how the fuck you gonna sell any more than motherfuckers? That's market saturation. <laughs> Yeah, out here, Stringer, with your introductory marketing terms. <gasps> oh my god! They're ratchet the same size as that dog. Yeah. I got 20 on Mr. Red. Shit, I got to take easy money. <laughs> oh, damn! He's a baby. <laughs> that poor puppy. Why haven't I seen Omar on any top 10 gay characters in TV list? Probably because of the murder. <laughs> oh, I think goddamn day we put our cards up and get nothing. Say, like, I don't know why I fucking lie. Amy's like, what's the plan? You know? And I'm down here wondering if I'm gonna get a day or two. Amy's sister broke up with Petey, right? Ugh. He's talking about his problems, man. If it's money that you're worried about, shit, you know? Let's pull a few dollars God, together. Yeah. I'll get his. Yeah, yo. I ain't standing out on no corner like some fucking project nigga so they can pop for pocket change. Fuck that shit, Zig. What for you, Nick? Once a porn stash, always a porn stash. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because he was in weeds, too. He was in weeds? He porked Nancy Bottom. I not. I, yeah, yeah, he porked Nancy Bottom. Ah, shit. After she got out of jail, helped, helped her sell some shit. Oh, damn, I need to check that out. I don't remember. Three of the dead girls were in Budapest Hungary sometime last year. How'd you know that? Oh, yeah. They bought tits there. Three of the girls had breast enhancements. We looked at the bags during the post. The records aren't that great. The best they could tell me is that the implants were used sometime this fall. This is three girls, three surgeries, same clinic, right? What else? What else? Well, fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell Cole about all this? I said the preliminary findings off the homicide, but Cole ain't on the case, bro. It's your man Bunk. I'm that older guy his partner, they ate it. Then what? Oh my god, Damn. there we go. Oh! The daughter's right there. No. Where is the Oh my god, they're carrying her in. What are they doing? The daughter was the cute puppy. The little kid was the cute puppy. Oh. Not the actual rat, I'm talking about the metaphor they showed earlier. Okay, Monty got the theory, does he now? You deductive motherfucker. <laughs> So he's gonna wander in here with some Johnny Come Lately bullshit about how these girls all coming over here as prostitutes. Talking about how if uh, they ain't got the cash to travel better than a container ship, then they sure shit don't have the money to pay a plastic suit. Uh oh. I see something about that woman in the water being tossed off the ship after she's already dead. Gonna beat her. Well, why is she gonna be? He's gonna ask us that like we don't know. <laughs> This is fantastic. I love it. This is funny. Somebody panics, tosses her in the harbor overnight before the ship ties up. But the other girls saw. So now the other girls, they get told to get back in that can. They got it. To cover this shit up, he gets up on top, bangs down the air pipe. Is that everything we felt it? Anything else you want to tell us? <laughs> got yourself a hell of a case. Fuck you, Farrah. <laughs> Come on, you know what happens to all them girls if you don't ID them. Anatomy board is medical cadavers. That bothers you? Yeah, a little. Oh, me too. Naughty. <laughs> Shipping it. Shipping it. No, we, we want him to get back to, to his wife and kids. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Mrs. McNulty, I forgot. This is more presence. Or Ms. <laughs> the guys who need to be working are the guys who wouldn't have shown up if we hadn't been throwing money at them. John Carney from Anne Arundel, Ms. Tobin from Montgomery, Clay Davis from Ottawa West Side. Clay, Clay Davis. Davis! Clay Davis is back at it again. Clay Davis, you know, that guy you want to make sure you're the last man out of the room. What do you mean? I mean, we've given 40 large to the West Side Democratic Organization. This motherfucker still has his hand. <laughs> We spent 40,000 on that guy. I'm worth it. If he lets your project sail through conference committee. 40 fucking thousand? I mean, it's depending. Trust me. Yeah, this is how it works. How lobbying works. 
Why does it feel as shady as anything we've seen happen in the process? Exactly, bro. This is... Damn, I, you're right. This guy. Money, please. People are telling me it just might be a good year for the port. Might be. You all have been stepping up in a lot of ways. So it continues like that. <laughs> you all making friends in a lot of places, right? We're friendly guys. <laughs> <laughs> Quit. No, get away. Get away. Son of a bit. You need more time with me. <laughs> No, that's how you make nice in two seconds. <laughs> you know what they're coming over for? Oh, well, some do. Some get told they're just gonna dance or be secretaries or whatever. You gotta understand they're coming from places that don't have much of anything. Forty or fifty thousand undocumented women working in the U.S. alone. Fifty thousand. They need a whole new agency just to police them. What they need is a union. Ah. Uh, oh, that's the thing. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You know how many illegal sex workers are around down in Miami? They're shipped over from like. Eastern Europe and shit. Yeah. Legalize it and unionize it. Use the taxes to give the free school kids lunch. Someone needs to explain that to conservatives and be like, it means more money, technically. Barksdale, Daniels and Freeman had us pulling all kinds of stuff. DMV records, phone logs, corporate charter stuff, political campaign contributions. If Burrell didn't break the case down so fast, we would have brought back three, maybe four million in downtown real estate. Not to mention all the money those guys were given to political campaigns. Chris got some shit on his chest. <laughs> He's like, you're going too deep, son. If it wasn't for Burrell, that would have been a major case. Burrell's dirty as fuck. You know, I just came to check up on you. This is my intro. Oh, CDs. Holy shit. You want something to drink? Straight fucking this girl? That's Sparksdale's uh, girl. These yeah, people don't know what he's missing, so he do. <gasps> oh. Damn it. There's a mirror over there. Stream got the evil goatee from the evil universe. <laughs> Tag still on it. Tia bought it before I got stopped in Jersey. You know you can give away the man's clothes, but don't make him go on, right? I need to see his baby mama. Only one thing he needs to be secure about it. If not, he might start thinking he can't do that time. I'm an XL. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he yeah. is what he is. He's oh, tall. no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> she Damn. Goes, she goes up to his, like, no, Stringer from the darkest timeline confirmed. <laughs> Wow. Oh, oh, oh damn, wow. you got that tongue out? Like, oh, shit. No. Fuck. That was probably one of her best kisses of her life. In her inner face on. Excuse me. I was there for family fucking values. This man goes deep, sharing them family deep tongue. Over here. Deep tongue. <laughs> Aww. Right next to the pictures. Man, that's fucked up, bro. Avon, I mean Stringer, I mean all y'all. Dustin was right. All y'all. Son of a bitch. That is direct evidence from them, dude. You can put it together. I know you ain't been getting hours. It's been small. Five days last month. That's all. Yeah. So, fair, I ain't saying otherwise. It's just the 60 check is above me with more seniority, and that's all she wrote. Do me a favor. Go down Clemens Street tonight. Give this to Dolores. Tell her you need a beer and a shot on me. Right, just do that much. That's not you have a round with me, you go home. Yeah. You want to come in? Pick me a winner, Johnny. Six, five, two, It'll be up on wheels. Hey, bro, slot one, two, two. Must be a fun gig. Uh, there's no work consistency though, there's no like, we call it job security really. Yeah. Look, Miss Delivery, Kim was supposed to go ashore in Norfolk. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah, I'm gonna need it on wheels at K122. My man will pick it up there. What, are these, what is he doing? Just like that. Wrong box, Miss Delivery. Oh, wow. They were like, I don't care, I'll go ahead. It happens all the time. <laughs> My shit always right. Hearing is believing. Oh no, tell him about to get it. Boy, we'll meet you outside when you're ready to roll. I like Bring that. But she's listening to how much money there is. Get away from me. You look dusty. Lady. So what? So what? What, you my mom up in here now? That's the weak man's role you're taking. I ain't never seen you as weak. That's it. It's all I got to get my head up out of this shithole. Ain't no more than that. I mean, because if that's all it did, you should be able to give it a rest for a few days. So it ain't no thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ain't no thing. A few days, sure. A few days. Right. Oh, his hand's so big. All right, all right, the Barksdale family, you know, they're, they're 
But they're still family. They're patching the things day. up again. He's trying to look out for them. What have you got? All digital. Four megapixels, 16 megs of memory, three time optical, four time oh. digital. Four megapixels. It's brand new on the market. That's the Cadillac of cameras right there. That's the Cadillac. <laughs> You're talking a big number. That's showtime, baby. This ain't the WNBA. I'm thinking with these features, this brand, I can get maybe a 350 each at retail. Cool. No, nope, not cool. 500. Yeah. yeah, see, I've been calling some of the local chain stores, you know, Best Buy, Circuit City. This model goes for 550. 500 when they're on sale. Okay, 500. This would be an awful illegal business to get into, man. These cameras get outdated within like six months to a year. And that's been that way for a minute. <laughs> There's three of us. I want the woman with the nightclubs, but I'm going to go home tonight, and that is going to be my wife. <laughs> <laughs> 16,000. That's over 5,000 a piece for you and your friends. 20,000 up front. Because I like you. Oh, look at that. It's a Kodak moment in the house. <laughs> oh my. <gasps> Motherfucker. I gotta run this by my people. Let's that SD card too. Are you okay? I'm going to give you a call. I hate Zig now. Ziggy's, he's I would just, just stop so... bringing Ziggy to do anything. Dog, yeah, Ziggy needs to not do things. Stop doing criminal activities, you're bad at it. He did get him up to 500, though. Yeah, he did. You're gonna insult my ace, you check and raise piece of shit? Fuck you, obviously, you're a fool. See it? Raise your back. Do any of these guys want to even try doing their job? Where's the lieutenant? He's, uh, on his street. <laughs> One picture on the board. All right, Pres Belushi, maybe maybe he's about to jumpstart this investigation. Let's do it. I'm glad. I want to see him in action. You sent me humps, Major. You sent me a detail of humps, Kevin. We can discuss this tomorrow. No, I think we discussed it. Oh my God. This guy's a dick. I'm gonna talk some shit to some of my friends about what happened at the end of the Barksdale case. Me on that. Damn. The Boxdale case was a successful prosecution. Up until our people tried to chase the cash, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I like that. I'm now. starting to like that. President Lucy talks some sense in them. I don't. Like his intention is in you want stand? I want real detail with real police and a real unit commander. No. Fine. Done. Give me that black lieutenant that did watch there. Daniel's put in his papers. He's gone. Out the door. Did not meet the pension board yet? <laughs> I suggest you talk to the man. I can't do what I can. Don't fuck with me, Eric. And with what I'm learning about the Barksdale case, I got all kind of shit I can throw. Oof, it's damn, 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 firecracker. Damn. Everybody hates everybody. Also, runner that was racist. How's the firecracker <laughs> racist? <laughs> Called him a cracker. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> wow, my mind did not even go there. Who brought them in? Young Stevador, Nico, and that idiot cousin. <laughs> Poor Ziggy. With the boots on. Altos in the Malacas. Oh. I'm paying 10 cents on the dollar for the cameras. We're going to clear what? 180,000. What about Nico? He's smart. Make the deal. Hey, 20K. Gotta, gotta make shit up the chain of command. Gotta get that paper somehow. I guess Nikki wants a pot to piss in. You're acting normal. You know what, Dolores? I made money today. Oh, Shut yeah. the fuck up! He talks about it. <laughs> what are you doing, Ziggy? What are you gonna do? Your change. Or so says Frank Sabaka. Oh. Damn. Somebody sent me to the bar for a drink like that. You don't take it, someone else is going to. Frank's is Ziggy's dad, right? Just, just. No. He's out here taking care of other people. Pop's a good man, Ziggy. You got a roof over your head, Ziggy. Ziggy needs to appreciate what cleaning his plate and the roof over his head, at least. What the fuck? Bad trip? No. Is this a drugs? Was it bad drugs? Yeah, I think it was bad drugs. Bad drugs. Oh, holy shit. That's why Avon didn't want his brother to do it. It's his nephew. Damn, man, that's the bro that, uh... What if he... Was gonna tell him about Ultimate Spider-Man, too. He had some. What if D didn't listen to him? He could've died, too. Like, yeah. that was just bold fucking, like... That was mode. a thin request. Yeah, but the guy handing out the drugs was told to skip D on purpose. The guy had a doubt the drugs was committed mass murder too. The angel of God, son. He didn't wow. even know. 
So is what's is is the security guard gonna get blamed for this? Now they're gonna look into it. He has to. Because now there's bodies. Mm -hmm. Not only did someone bring in drugs, someone brought in bad. Now they got like Tillman like people. implicated in a way. Like maybe I don't know. Avon just straight Genghis Khan them. Like, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> He's just reading his book like, yeah. That's wild. <laughs> just another thing. And they had them in the last shot of the episode in the, the frame within a frame. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They've been doing that. We have to start like, doing that. That's going to gonna be the skit. Yeah. Just every every scene is shot within a frame window. on a frame. <laughs> oh, really so uh, the picture real quick, fun fact about that. One of the reasons why they did it is because back in the day when this was coming on TV, it was in 4x3. But everybody thinks about movies and cinema being in 16 by 9, so they use a lot of frames within frames to kind of give the, like, um, 16 by 9, like, kind of feel. Mm. Hmm. How Ooh. does that give a 16 by 9 So, feel, like, because, uh, like, all right, for instance, there's a shot when they were walking across the bridge, and the whole lower half of the screen was all bridge, and it was just the people on the up part top, so it made it less of a square and more of a rectangle. But also, we're watching it in um. 16 by 9 because it's been converted, so we wouldn't know. But, like, you know what I mean? Like... Even with yeah, this, within yeah. the frames, within the frames, it makes you focus on less of the screen, so you're not looking at it as a square. It was to try to give like the feel of like not watching TV. Interesting. Fucking try hard. Yeah, that, smooth. That was well done. More more pieces were moved around here. So uh, I don't know which one to talk about first. I kind of want to talk about Pres Belushi, man. I'm excited that he told uh, Valchek about that everything about the Barksdale case from last season. Well, so. I think that's going to be what gets us the old crew back together. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I still got hope. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe we'll still dig into the money trail on that. Like, With maybe the it'll addition be of, uh, what's your name? Russell? Oh, Beatrice Russell. Yeah. yeah. B. <laughs> also seeing, um, seeing, uh, uh, just them, like, trying to work that. It feels like every single thing anybody does on the show has consequences. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fucking Clay Davis is like, ass popping back up. For Prez learned a lot last season, man. He was like, we need to get, like, real estate holdings. We need to check bank accounts. We need yeah. to cross-reference shit. So he knows how to work the case. It's just no one is, is doing shit. They're all yeah. lollygagging over there. So now mm -hmm. we're going to get a new crew together, I think. Do you think Daniels is going to come back? I don't yeah. know. I think he's not going to give a choice. Baltic demanded, though. Bullshit. I mean, God, the way that guy threatened his better, ass off. I'm like, they better pay him more money. Yeah. I would negotiate the hell out of that if I was Daniels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If I, I was Daniels, too. I'd be like, yeah, I get a like a stake where I don't get demoted ever again. <laughs> exactly. If you're bringing me back, that play boy. Yeah, if you're bringing me back, I want like lieutenant or whatever title I want. You can't take it. <laughs> Man. Uh, um, so uh, but that she... was good. So what do you guys? Okay. Sorry. No, what were you gonna say, Rana? Um. I was just thinking about Omar in the beginning of the episode and like, mm -hmm. you know, um, conning those girls of 5K and having them work for him. Only Omar mm -hmm. could do shit like that. I mean, yeah. it's just like, in the gangs, I guess, can happen. Well, I was like, I heard Omar that was, was really dead. That was impressive. Um, right? So I was going to actually talk about Omar because I think Serge did bring up a good thing where you're like, how come Omar doesn't make it on like, you know, top 10 list of like uh, influential gay characters? And I do have to think it's because of the people that might be like, just because, like, anybody who's making those lists, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, Omar is in mainstream. Like, people are, like, looking at Omar as his icon, which they should be. Because he definitely fucking is. But, like, I also, I don't know. Like, I feel like everybody that makes those lists has probably seen The Wire and been like, we don't want to associate with Omar Little. He does so, too much of the yeah. murder. What are, where, where are some names? Yeah, are not watching wild. The Wire. <laughs> What'd you where say? Some, like, where some, some names. What are, where are some names? Uh, so, like, I, I have an idea what you guys are talking Because, like, like, share. Probably, like, Cora, um... Ooh, Will and Grace. Sure. Uh, Moira, apparently. But Moira but is a gay icon. Moira. Like, Will and Grace, that, that whole plot is Moira? based around, like, oh. a friend and a gay person, right? Like, the whole plot of why is not based around Omar, so, like, I kind of see why it's not, you know, as influential as, like, Will and Grace. I think, yeah. I mean, to be fair... I think it was more of the fair. idea of having representation yeah. and everything. Like, to have someone such as Omar and his character be gay, a lot of people would never think that. Yeah. Like, that is true, because like, I would never think he's rap or blah, blah, blah. Nah, not at all. He gonna beat your ass. In like 2002 <laughs> also, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or when the show came out. But I love Omar's character so much. Like, he gets the girls on his side, and then like, they go and bring this little girl to like, the front That store, was so fucked like, up. Oh, she's being picked. I was so fucked up, man. I'm like, okay, they're gonna like, throw the girl to the side and whatever, and go in. But no, they they cut that little girl's ass and take her in too. <laughs> That, that little girl's in training. She's gonna be <laughs> like the other 
light skin lady when she grows up. So I would never look at a soda again the same. If somebody gives yeah. me a soda, I'm like, what's happening? You should just know that no, <laughs> nothing's <laughs> free right now. Somebody's You're giving fine. you something. They want something in return. What yeah. was the interpretation with the dog the killing the rat? Cute was there puppy. something? Because then they then they referred to the dude hiding that Omar robbed at the end as like a rat in his rat hole. Like yeah, he was like, he up there in his rat hole. hole. Yeah, and the so dog. Was there like was the there dog supposed dog to be a comparison what? there? Yeah. So dog Tillman, dude's already got planned out. I, I couldn't hear what Spidey said because of the echo, mm-hmm. but uh, and maybe he said this. But Tillman said, "How does the dog know what the rat's gonna do? Like, How does the dog know what the rat mm-hmm. gonna do?" So if you look at Omar being the dog, like Omar understands like what the rat's gonna do next. Like he understands like where they're gonna go and the moves that they're gonna make. And then also same for like Stringer and Avon, like getting Tillman. Like they know what Tillman's gonna do. Like everyone's. A lot of moves were made, but they weren't, like, directly against the people. You know what I mean? Like, Tillman, yeah, he fucked mm-hmm. up. But, like, Avon was like, I know what Tillman's going to do. And, like, I know how to fuck him over without, like, having to be super direct about it. And then also, like, I know what D's doing. And I know how to keep D from doing the thing that he's going to do. Like, solving these situations by knowing what people's next moves are going to be. It's more chess shit when he's like, how's a dog know what the fucking rat's going to do next? Because he's thinking ahead. I need to see Avon Barksdale versus Elizabeth Harmon and Queen's Gambit. <laughs> See who's gonna take the chess <laughs> turn. Elizabeth Harmon's gonna run the drug game by the end of that thing. She's a beast. <laughs> she, she, man, that show. She just sit there, just hands folded, looking at him. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah, the, he was just reading his book at the end. That was that just tells you everything right there. Yep. He just moved his pieces and knew what was gonna happen. Alarms going off. He's like, it ain't shit. I thought they were gonna like murder Tillman, but they are implicating him hardcore. Yeah, because mm-hmm. uh, smart. What's the name? Butch, the guy at the bar. He, Blind he Butch counted it up, right? Yep. And uh, Avon wasn't give wasn't going to give him as much as uh, Tillman. Tillman, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, so, like he was worried because he was like, because when Stringer was like, "Hey, fix the drugs and shit," or you know, like do this for me, he's like, "But I'm gonna lose money on this," and he's like, "You know, we're gonna find a way to make that right." So like, Butch, he still got paid, like. Mm-hmm. So he didn't even like tripping, you know, like he got paid back for that, and yeah. no one had to come out of pocket. Tillman just paid for it. What do y'all think of uh? What do y'all think of Stringer over here, Let's bro? I, 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 that that was kind of fucked up, bro. Like, how you gonna do that? <laughs> At least put the picture down. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, that. man. Like, shit. You just told her like you gotta get. Gotta... So you stuff. put the picture down and it's all better and it disappears. Yeah. He locked up for twenty no, no. years. Somebody got to do it. <laughs> That's family, <laughs> That's though. Let's be something exactly. else. He, he just he just keep said, man, we got we got keep him we got keep him like family. They just shared a family jewel. But then, you know, you lay they down the pipe and along. shit. It's the family's pipe. All the shit rushed it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, she's going to have to privately outsource Ugh. from a third party on that one and just keep Ooh. it to herself. Yeah. I mean, she's real talk, though, like, he's locked up for 20 years, so, you know, obviously, like, I, I don't know. I mean, she can stay celibate hey, for 20 years and be a nut on, if she wants. On, she's going to fuck somebody. Good behavior might be... But, uh, no, no, she might can fuck can. somebody, but how you going to fuck the so dude's like homeboy? Like, Stringer and D are like homeboys. Exactly. You know? Well, you know. Have you seen Idris Elba, Pat? <laughs> Have you seen Idris Elba? There are men that would leave their wives for Idris Elba. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he came into your apartment. He started, he started tongue it. Man, that... Just he was he was kissing the fuck out of her. Right. Yeah. He like licks the outside and then the inside of her cheek. Yeah, he gave her tongue on. first. <laughs> yeah, he did. You gotta get that rough kiss. That, that British kiss. <laughs> um, okay, besides yeah, that, my it. favorite part of the episode was seeing the, <laughs> the van. <laughs> besides that part, my favorite part was the van. Seeing the van travel with the Doc Brotherhood and them taking pictures and yeah. stuff. And Steve that was hilarious. I truly... At, so at that good. point, I mean, it was a troll, and I don't, I don't think any of them are going to get caught or implicated with it because they are all just they are getting caught. Right right? Who the fuck else is messing with him with docs and stuff? You got to be able to prove it, Frank. <laughs> yeah, you got to prove it. There's no proof. There, it's, it's just been like been passed around now. Oh, like right. no one can prove anything. The keys were turned in. You know. Yeah. So, I don't know. Oh my god. My favorite part was at the beginning when they were trying to interrogate the crew and they were all talking different languages. <laughs> and like for oh, yeah. for Lester to assume that like, you know, since they work in international waters then they should know at least some English is fair, but it's an assumption and it's inaccurate because I swear to God, every police department I had to go to for my paperwork in Turkey or then uh, or like I was in the international uh, police department in Czech for, for a little bit for a meeting and like nobody spoke English. About how? Mushy, mushy, motherfucker. You guys make mushy, meetings mushy. like you meet foreigners here who moved here and you like try to talk to them and like get 
make sure they stay like within the legal binds of their like residence and like you need to communicate with them in english but nobody in the department speaks english when i went to turkey and like i had my student visa done people could not explain to me like anything that was on the form and the form was all in turkish <laughs> Oh, <laughs> trash. Oof. Well, yeah, maybe maybe it's not too far of a stretch to imagine it's that not. some of them don't know English. He's Bunk bro- called that man Kunta Kinte. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so but, like, come on, Bunk. You know, like the, um, what, what's the guy's name? The, uh, the, what's the crewmate? The guy who does all the shit for the crew. What's his name? We learned it in Black Sails. The, that title? The uh, quartermaster? The quartermaster. I, I don't yeah. know. I'm assuming he's a court master. I don't fucking know. But that guy was even like, for all the questions you're asking, they're not going to answer. Yeah. Because he knows. He has to communicate with these motherfuckers, too. He's like, they're not going to tell you. I tell Mark I have to do this shit all the time. I'm like, you ever get pulled over by the cops, lay the accent on super thick, and tell them you didn't know that doing a 75 and a 40 was fucked up? <laughs> I, I didn't know. I couldn't do that. Yeah, right? you know, like, get she, she, yeah, I mean, if you got an accent, lay the accent on real hard and just be like, I just got here. I am Melania's cousin. I learned accent. I love Christmas. Melania's <laughs> <laughs> cousin. Just act like for like extra foreign. Just yes, yes, Dodgers or whatever. Right. <laughs> Root for a baseball team. Okay. Thank you. Um, it works for us. Well, they usually yeah, like think we're like. And, um, what? what? Uh, I was gonna say Bunk and uh, Freeman. Oh my god, who's he working with on the K? And Freeman just busting down like, what are you gonna come in here and tell us, Jimmy? This, 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 this. Like, he's just like, ah, uh, I thought it was hot shit. <laughs> he's probably gonna ask us a question he already knows the answer to. And say, oh, maybe he murdered these girls and then what killed the others because they're witnesses. Yeah. Anything else you want to tell us? <laughs> That's not good. He was just sitting there like, hmm, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the uh, lax views on theft in in the docks and how it kind of represents mm-hmm. the like the eastern like the post-soviet culture a little bit because in literally we have a saying in czech that says that is um if you don't steal from them you steal from the family <laughs> <laughs> Glad so, I married like, you. so that means that like <laughs> you know like back in like the communist like when we were part of the Soviet Republic, um, like people would just like steal shit because there would be nothing. You couldn't even buy anything in stores because everything would be empty. Like there would be no like supply chain. So people were just like stealing stuff from like their, their employer. And it was just a survival thing. <laughs> and it kind of like permeated and, and like... Because there are a lot of them on the doctor say it, right They now. say it as a joke, but but legit. Like if you see like a... A case hanging, a case of vodka hanging out from the like. You just take it, put it in your car, and like never talk about it again. Yep. That's what like it that. is. I mean, you saw we saw like Carver and them take money from their cases, like mm-hmm. nothing yeah. too. Yep. 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 It's yeah. I, yeah, that's how people don't get their stuff in the mail. Yeah. yeah. PS5s or headphones. Or <laughs> oh yeah, I was about to say that's I literally every single body who ordered one of those cameras is about to be like, bro, where the shipment at? And like. A fucking FedEx lost that right. shit, done. We don't even know. Yep. A whole case of PlayStation 5s <laughs> yeah. is sitting on someone's dock right now. But, yep. <laughs> it just sucks, though. Like, you see Ziggy and Nikki uh, stealing all those cameras and stuff. Just, and, like, he was kind of proud of himself, you know, making money for us that day. But then you just see his dad hand a wad of stack of money to, like, another guy. And he's like, bro, you see me and my cousin suffering here. We were like, we're not getting paid as well. Are they yeah. suffering, though? Like, they yeah, they're suffering. Not that, uh, yeah, they like, got, Ziggy like, at least has a place to live. Yup. They're all, like, stuck together. Like, okay, but, like, that Nick guy is on the beginning of an episode. He's trying to get married. He has a kid. He needs his own place. Okay. He still lives with his mom. Like, it's just, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah but he's also we an adult. Like, like if, if, if the dogs are not giving him enough hours, like, That's right. there is an. He lives in Baltimore. It's a big city. Like, you can go work in a restaurant, be a server. Like, I don't. You can do so many things. You know what I mean? Like, Magic Mike, that shit. I, I just. I just. Like, he wants to stay for them. that. I, that part I, I don't like. Mean. That, like, they feel entitled to uh, Frank's money. But I also, I don't understand how much money Frank has because he's throwing money around. He has a lobbyist that he pays for. He's the union yeah, boss. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't seem rich either. Like, he, like, like no. the house that he was staying. But he has union like, money. Normal. It's, it's the union money. Like, yeah. he's the union boss. So a lot of the stuff he's doing, he's doing it with the union money, I would have to assume. Uh, and the thing is, dun, dun, dun. is that I do get what you're saying about them with that. But I think that maybe they feel entitled to being stevedores because their fathers were stevedores and shit. It's like people that work at the steel mills or work in coal mines end up having kids that work in the steel mills and work at coal mines just because that's like 
what the family does. Like, we're a fucking coal mining family. There's military families. And then, like, if the shit's not working out for them, it worked out for their fathers, and it worked out for their fathers before them, and now it's not working out for you. People never think that it's, like, the landscape or, like, the economy or whatever is happening in the world that mm-hmm. makes it fucked up. People think inherently that I'm the fuck up. It worked for 10 generations yep. before mine, and now it comes down to me, and I can't even do this. And, like, you're right. They could go do something else, but I think it's, like, you know, it's deeper than that. The mindset. Yeah, uh, but I just feel bad sorry. for the dock workers, man. Like they're so un- their their work days are so inconsistent. They have no job yeah. security. But then it seems like Frank is kind of holding all of them by a whim. Like how many more people is he like dangling? Like, like yeah, yeah. guilty yeah. not like, quitting. Like pe- people that are getting paid but haven't come up to him like this guy did mm-hmm. and who he gave him the stack to. So he, he's just kind of stringing them along. But I mean, he needs and, them. Like he said, if they all leave, then his union. Yeah, if they all leave, then his union's got no so money. So, what, what is the end goal? Like, what is the end goal? What is he lobbying so for? So, I like, think that he wants the the dock to be deeper, so they so they can like get more ships on there, because I guess the regulations mm-hmm. changed and like the ship the ship sizes changed, but their dock is outdated, so they don't get as much mm-hmm. business. And at the same time, What's they're the trying to build that? condominiums on that uh, that shorefront. So, like, he's That's getting right, fucked yeah. from both sides. And he's just trying to make the best out of it for... He's not just doing it for himself, but for, like, everybody that works Holy in the shit. What? And, can I just, uh, uh, so real quick, everybody knows that, like, <laughs> coal is leaving, right? Like, coal is on its way out. I guarantee you there's plenty of lobbyists, plenty of fucking hurt families, and plenty of people freaking out because everybody in their family has been coal miners for this long, and now the world's going green, and then they're just, like up to shit with nothing to do. Politicians are telling them that we're going to do clean coal and we're going to bring coal back, but that shit ain't coming back. It doesn't back. exist. Clean and it's coal like, does not exist. Oh, 100%. It's like the same yeah. shit where they're like, I guarantee you they're hung up and they're probably doing whatever the fuck they can to survive. Mm-hmm. And like... I mean, that that's why it's lasted this long. That's why the fossil fuel industry has lasted this long. Yep. Like, it's, it'll, it'll continue to... Yeah. It's not going to go out anytime soon. I don't care what Biden says. It's not. It's not. Like, it's, it's but it has to... Too many billionaires have it doesn't, money from it. If it doesn't go, first of all, we're going to run out of those resources in like the next 40 years with our current consumption if we don't replace it or dil- dilute it with something else. And... Uh, mm-hmm. Also, in 40 years, if we keep doing the way, if we keep doing everything we do right now, we might not even have like <laughs> air or water. But the billionaires will be fine. No. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The billionaires only seen like 40 years. They could make they could make so much money in 40 years. They don't give a fuck about anything else. Like, they, the, how much money they could exploit in 40 years is a lot. <laughs> like so, you know. All right, comrade Pat, calm down. <laughs> oh <laughs> uh, yeah. And also, uh, McNulty is getting a separation agreement, and that's it. Mm. Yes. Sorry, I'm looking where this Greek mobster guy is from. That's the movie. That's his TV show. Right there. Several things. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I'm trying to look at movies. Oh, I've seen those are movies. movies before. But... I've cooked TV show. Back. No, you're good. You're on movies. He's always mob Malachi boss, is my new favorite word. Second in Malachi. Yeah. He's steady mobbing. He's in Daredevil. Yeah. He's in this movie yeah. Get Hard. Oh, Get Hard was good. Good match. I feel like I've seen Get Hard. It was, it was so stupid. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, shit, y'all. This is good. I'm, um, I'm loving season two a lot. Yeah. We're on to it with the Stevedores. I like saying that word. Where, where, where's Herc? Yeah, I haven't seen, seen Herc. I haven't seen Herc in a while. Kima. Oh, Kima. Yeah. Kima's being a lawyer. Huh? Kima's being a lawyer. No, no, Kima's. Kima's she, no, Herc. she's doing asset forfeiture inside, but okay, she's still with yeah. the police force. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, she's just an uh, uh, indoor cat now. Damn. How's well, uh, yeah, that, that thing was all oh, the same. Oh, one Fair. more thing. So, something I, 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 um, I, was, I got distracted, but something Stringer was talking about cell phones, him investing in cell phones or cell phone carriers. Did, can yeah, he was that? getting rid of the his stocks and cell phones because he was like, if this dude's already got two cell phones, who doesn't have two cell phones? Like, our bottom dude has two phones and there's no one <laughs> else going to buy phones. I can get rid of this. Ah, who's got oh, two? Yeah. Phones. It was cool to hear about Poot because we haven't seen Poot. Yeah. 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 Let's oh, talk man. about him. Poot. He's got two phones. Poot. I got two. And only phones. one of them ring <laughs> when the pussy calls. Oh, shit. One for the hoes and one for the road. All right. Bye. 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 Thanks for watching The Wire with the Normies. Check us out on Patreon for early access and uncut content. Special shout out to our super patrons, Exploring Dylan, Clayton Davis, Aaron, Joe Mags, Harry McFan, Mr. Momus, Nick Comfort, Frower House, Keyboard Junkie, and ZJP. And we will see you all next time.